Hello everyone. Today our topic is how to do well in doctoral research. I am Dipshika and it is important for us in our career or our quest for knowledge that we should always strive for doing a good research be it an MPhil, a PhD or a writing a good book. First, we have to know that human brains is curious by nature. Curiosity generates information and that is what it is stored in brain creating lifelong database. So research is innate to us? Yes, it is innate to our brain but then is it scientific for us? Let us see. While doing the research in the first phase which I describe as the early phase of doing a research that is generally a period from 0 to 2 years in a PhD there are certain familiar research alphabets that you require and you see it in your day-to-day -day life that is agility, boldness, cautious, decision-making, ethical, fulfilling, goal-oriented, humble, integrity, judicious, keenness, limitation, meaningful, numbers, observant, participation, questions, reliable, sample, truth, universal, validity, worksheet, zeric, yardstick and zeal. I have written it alphabetically so that whenever you say any letter you should remember that why research is tough and these 26 letters will remind you that yes it is a long journey when you have the mid phase trouble or we generally see as the most difficult part of our research that is between two to four years and we think of giving up the research not continuing it a researcher is engrossed into a lot of problems. Number one is time, which we say, or time management, that wish I had more than five years. Next is age, always have this feeling, wish I started early on this topic. Next is money, wish I could be more judicious with the money that I had. Next, an important aspect is the relationship between the mentor and the mentee or guide and the scholar or supervisor and the scholar where an empathetic relationship is required from both the end. A good communication is required from both the end. Next we have is publication. So this is an important aspect because in depending upon universities to university it is different and it is important to look into where do I find a good publication site to publish the good journals or the research articles. So it is important always to ask those who have published that whom should you ask to get it published. Next is distance. The feeling that your field was near to you, it was close by to you, so that you can do your research as soon as possible. Uh, very often we also see that everybody's biological clock is ticking and you have this question when you indulge in the research that when do I start a family? This is often a time when a lot of research scholars, especially women, leave up or give up their research as they do not continue, continue it anymore. Next is health. And in health, I have talked about three aspects. That is, number one is brain fogging. You exactly do not know. Nothing comes to your head when you want to write something. You, suf you suffer from uh, the kind of uh, slow thought process. You suffer from saturation. These are the kind of anxiety that you have. Next is hands and uh, your head starts to uh, sweat a lot. Uh, you have cold feet. You do not know how to write it, uh, how to sit with your laptop or with your notebook. And the third is lack of sleep. Often you suffer from insomnia, anxiousness and palpitation, amount of high amount of stress in this the phase of life when you do your research. The next is the final phase, which is around three to six years period with the extension, which is given to you. 
and a sense of fulfillment dawns upon the research scholar. You try to help uh, the novice scholars who are newly enrolled. You try to help each other. You try to attend a lot of seminars and conferences. You try to publish good research papers. And family, family is also relieved that finally you're going to submit your baby project, your research. You also try to arrange a lot of money for your official paperwork, getting it printed and things like that. And then you wait for the final degree after you submit your research, uh, your thesis or your dissertation. And generally in a PhD thesis, it takes a period from around six months to two years in most of the universities. And on the final day, the day of convocation, when you cross the hurdles and the limitations, you master perseverance. I'm telling you, it is very difficult to attend and you get your doctoral degree. So congratulations. For a lot of people, it is the best day of their life, which I call it metamorphosis. So what is the learning that we have? That early start is like an empty slate which can be filled up with questions, experiments, debates, and the potential to create, add new body of knowledge. So wish you all the best with your research journey ahead. Thank you so much.